Hey, what's up, people? It's Cobweb here with you. I uh, just got my Master Universe Origin Snake Mountain playset in. Want to check it out? Uh, it's gonna be the biggest thing I've tried to review so far. So, this video is gonna probably take some work. I'm gonna do my best and see how it goes. But here we go. So far, shipper box. Get into the next box. Check it out from there. All right, and here we are. Round two of this guy out of the box, and here we are in the actual artwork box beautiful artwork on this i know it's all been seen before there's already been reviews on this so i'm just running through just showing you my enjoyment of actually opening it up and checking it out looks like i got a little some scratches on there which suck i really really love the artwork gonna probably keep this box for sure but yeah big battle up in front here all right then if we check out the back of it another not really battle but just set up with all of them Got these skeleton warriors in there. I just did a review on those not too long ago. Those are going to be cool to display around here. So let's quick look at it like that. And I'm gonna continue to keep getting into it. Open it up and see where I go from here. Alright, here we are. I just dumped a bunch of the pieces just out here in front of me. It's going to be a little trickier than I thought. I might just do some zoom-ins of me snapping the parts together so you can see where everything goes. And we'll take a final look at it afterwards. But... All this front you just came kind of wrapped in paper and all crammed up inside there. So we'll just start putting this together little by little. Actually, I'll have another bag. I think this is some monster. Oh, okay, we got weapons, which everybody's seen. They look pretty much like the same ones that came with the Skeleton Warriors. Our little monsters. So we'll go with this. This orange dude. I like these little colorful monsters. They're not detailed or anything. They remind me, kind of remind me of like the Ghostbusters came with those little figures. Each figure came with a little little ghost or monster of their own. So there's those. So I'll hop into just snapping some parts together and see where I go next. Alright, moving on to this next part here. Can I attach this wolf gate to the front? It's really awkward to try and get some angles to show you guys, but i do my best to keep going, make this quick as I can. So this should just snap in like so, from the looks of it. You can glue it up that side. All right, and there's that. Oh, it's got a little snap to it. So let me step back. Yeah, you can see that. So we've got the door going there. Move on to the next piece. All right, what I've done now is just flipped it, the exact reverse side of where I just had it. I'm going to attach this uh, trap door that goes to the cell later on. Um, got this little lever here. So that's how your trap door will work. Press this little lever again. And you can pop it back up. stays there solid. Again, hopefully snap on. Alright, yeah. It's on there. I'll we'll actually tilt that down a little bit more. So yeah, that's assembled now. We'll move on to the next piece. All right, this is very tricky to get this how I want it, but I'm going to try and go with this snake next. Cool snake articulated. I'll show more of it when I cut the whole thing assembled, but what we're going to do is cut this little piece right here. It's going to snap into this little square right here. I just moved the castle over a little bit from our last part. So this should just snap on right into there. This is a heavy-duty thick piece of plastic. Okay, you hear that click? There it is. So you can kind of see them from there. I'll swing it around later. We'll check them out from the front. Alright, and I've set the castle all the way over. We're going to assemble this floor piece. Tell you what, this is not getting any easier to try and figure out how to film this. So, got this floor piece. It's got a little peg right here. That's where our bone throne is going to go. So, I'll snap that in. It should be fairly simple too. Just like gray skull. You know, grease ball, just pop those in. So there again we go. And let me see here. While we're here, um, I got the bone thrown too. Might as well pop that in place. I want to check it out real quick. Here's the bone thrown that came with it. Pretty cool. Nice detail on it. I know they had one classics. There's a lot more detail to it. But this is cool for Origins. A little more simple. Uh, Simplistic. 
So it should go right on that peg. We also got the wolf. Wolf's head. Used to be the microphone. Now they just gave us this piece. I think it, yeah, it's on a swivel. Cool little piece. And there's a spider that's going to attach to that later right here. We'll check that as well. But I believe this will snap on just like so. Easy assembly so far. Everything's going pretty smooth. So again, another thing we'll check out when we get to the front of it. See more of all that. So we'll just keep on going. Alright, gotta keep it going again. Next to my simple this cage, uh, cell. Or we'll just I'll show you what it is here in a sec. Got two pieces to come with. You're gonna have your floor. This piece will go face down like this. You got some uh, little I don't know if you see it, yeah, A1, B1, A1, B1. So I was looking at it, it looked like it would go like this, but it's gonna go like this, just facing up, and then all your A's and B's will match. Pretty much, I think you just, I'm not going to look at instructions because I'm fairly certain you just make yourself a little cage, snap it together, so, and like I said, I don't think this is going to matter either for the bottom part, snap that on, did that go, okay there, click click, just click click it all the way around, Alright, we'll do the same with the top right now. I said this part's gonna go facing up. And hopefully the same. Let's go around and click. Alright, then we got our wolf cage cell. And that's gonna attach to a couple places here. I'll show you in a second, but that's pretty cool looking. Same same kind of door like up on the top swinging cage door. So on to our next step. Okay, I <clears throat> figured I'd just do this next. Um, got a weapon rack. Cool little weapon rack, just like Grayskull, you know, got a weapon rack with that, so. Uh, it's kind of awkward. I should do how it looks in the picture. Looks like that shield, kind of clip into there, hold it like that. And it looks like the weapon's just kind of Stand up at an angle like that from what I see. So that's a weapon rack. We'll throw that in there later. All right, I figured it in a little closer for this next part. Um, there's our little toxic pool. Folds down if you want to store the whole thing. You close it up. This will fold back up. You close the whole case up and travel with it. But this will be for those monsters I was showing. You can click some of them on there. They're just rubbery. Throw them on there. And then you can also take the Origins um, bodies in half and snap them on here. It looks like they're coming up out of there. I'll probably do some of that later and show some pictures of that. But there's a place for both our monsters right now. I'll bring them up so you can see them a little better. So that's a little home for those two. Alright, this next part I'm going to get a little mobile, carry my phone around. Um, I'm going to put in the ladder. I was kind of look. I had to look at this in the direction because I wasn't positive where the ladder went on the first one and where it went on here. So got two little holes down here. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Everything's kind of dark with this purple, the way I got it set up. You can't really see, but it's got kind of two little spots right there. It goes in down there, and then it'll come up and just kind of, kind of just rest in place right there. Sorry about the shakiness. I had nothing else to do, but. Hold the camera mobile on that, so there's our ladder going up and down. I'll take you up to that front front gate again, and then the trap door. All right, back again. This is getting a little trickier and trickier. I, from where I was set up, I could not get the whole thing in frame, but eventually, I promise, we'll get the look at the whole thing. I'll set it up somewhere else to check it out. We're gonna get to our bridge real quick. One solid piece this time. And I think it was in two pieces in the original. So very simple too. Now we got, what is it? One, two, three, four of these. And from the looks of it, they're just gonna snap in like this and it's real easy. The curve part goes, goes around the curve. So pop them in. And we'll just keep on going. Get them all in there. 
Yeah, everything is real easy assembly on this. It's going together real smooth for me so far. I haven't had any problems. And then one last one. And then we have our bridge. And that thing is cool looking. The draping moss or whatever it is coming off of here dangling. And then I think I'll just go right ahead. We can see from here. Let me double check. Let's say you can see. This should just snap into two spots here as well. So one there. And then, okay, there's a weird little hole over there. It looks like a foot peg. And then I'll hole in there. I'm not sure what that's for. We'll see probably later on. But I think you guys could see that. So there we got a bridge connecting. So we got a walkway coming up and bridge. Like I said, we'll, we'll get a nice set up somewhere where I can zoom out and check out the whole thing. All right, here's a little more. Try and get everything in frame. Um, just going to show some of the features now. Got the snake that I'll tack. I threw He-Man up here. I thought he'd be the perfect sacrificial to the snake. Um, took that open closing jaw. And the head swivels. Got my kind of ball joint here. Got a twist here at the neck. And I thought it would kind of curve in and attack it more. But it's more... This is just up and down back here. I don't know if you can see it, but... I guess that's their way of attacking. So you kind of come in like that so you can't really I guess if you turn it turn like that you get to come in kind of bite at them but it's cool I mean it's the, it's the snakes up there and it articulates some it's cool cool to have and we move over a little bit over here we got these chains a um, lot thicker rubber than they were on the original these don't feel like they're gonna break anytime soon they swell up here. They're already attached. They weren't something I had to put on, so it didn't miss out there. And just solid, solid rings on them. So you could maybe squeeze their hands through, or be in origins. You could pop the pegs off. Yeah, the hands just kind of. You could squeeze them through like this. Works. If I get over the thumb there. Real pliable, so should be easy. Yeah, there you go. So let's see, trying to sum up. There you got your, your captured He-Man. Or whoever you want to put up there. Let's see if I get a cool looking kind of pose on him. And just waiting for somebody to come rescue him. We'll check out the next feature. Okay, I thought I'd just check out this wolf head for a second. There's nothing really much to this. I mean, it's just the wolf head. It used to be a microphone, the original. You had the battery pack to it and talk to it and the voice changer, but... Here you just got the wolf, a cool swivel, kind of keep an eye, like the eye I saw on, <laughs> watching over everything. So that's it for him. We'll move on a little bit to the bottom over here. Okay, trying to get a good piece of the face <laughs> in shot for this one. Still got He-Man up over here being tortured. But you'll be checking out the mouth here. It's just like the original, got the talking mouth, so... Before you had that voice changer I was talking about, you could do the voice changer and make them talk at the same time. But that's that's always cool. Scream and yell at the heroes as they come towards the castle, try and scare them off. <laughs> I'll check out a little bit more here. Okay, this isn't much here, but just the, the whole cave we had on original. It's got this new pink vines moss thing kind of hanging down. Coming around back so you could of creature or something popping up out of here too. Pretty cool. Nice addition, something that wasn't on the original. So I thought I'd show that real quick as well. All right, here real quick is what I was talking about earlier. Got yeah, He-Man, split him in half here. He-Man just getting the worst of everything today. Take out the bottom part, the origins. I'm sure everybody knows they snap in half, all the parts pop off. So put him in here, looks like he's drowning in the slime pit, whatever uh, slime pool they got going on. And have a little fight with these monsters over here. So that's how that's going to work, putting your half a figure in there. So you do up to three of them, look pretty cool. And here, I'm going to show the cage, um, jail cell, and everything again. Two places going to be able to hook this on. Slide it in. Sorry, I can't get Slide it in here. 
I'm not gonna play it all the way in. This slides in here. Let me keep guys in there. Oh, that's part of the mouthpiece right there. There's the back for the handle on that. So that's one place you can keep it. And then also it's gonna attach up here. And then we'll get a closer look. I'll come up here with the camera in a second. So we can slide this in. And slide it in all the way. <clears throat> and your trap door is gonna be connected to the top of this. So they'll fall right in here. So I guess I'll put the camera up here and we'll check that out. Alright, I'm gonna show the cage with the trap door like I was talking about. You see the wolf emblem, the back of the door, and then that's how it's the same too here. Right. Open up the door, got He Man. He Man comes in, you can stand there. Wanders into Snake Mountain. Get the same little button here that I was talking about earlier. Press that, and there you go. Falls right in. And just to release them, take them out, and you ask, so you're gonna need to open that if you wanna reset that, which pretty cool. I'll probably be leaving that there. Okay, I want to come back over. Here's what the bone thrown was. I put that in earlier. I think I got it right on the peg. Yeah, it's in there. See behind there. I'm gonna show that real quick. That's where your old battery pack would have been. It's the same um, looking sticker that used to be like the battery pack that connected to the wolf's head for the microphone. But whoa. Pop that back on, and I'll throw a Skeletor in there so you can check him out what he looks like on the throne. <laughs> Freaking awesome. I can't wait to display this all up on my shelf and have a whole whole scene going on here. This is so amazing. So there he is with his bone throne. I won the last minute thing I almost forgot. I <laughs> found the spider out to the side. I forgot all about him. Um, I knew he connected to several different spots. So he's got a hole here on the back of them and then one up underneath. So you can attach them to the wolf's head like that. And, oh, it connects all the way to the top so it swivels with the head. This whole thing's popping out because I can't reach, but yeah, whole thing swivels like that. I know he's also got a peg right here. If you'd rather have them up on the wall. And I think there was one down here as well. I'll check out. Okay, and then down here as well. It's not the greatest view, but there's a peg right here. If I get out of the light, you can see that peg there. There's one more spot for the spider. It's hard for me to reach over and even get him on there, but I'm trying to do my best and get him on there real quick. All right, so yeah, one last little hiding spot for him. So he fits in all kinds of corners of the mountain. Uh, I'm just trying to do my best. I said I'd get this all in view. Um, there's get a little close up of the whole thing. Really hard to do. Like I said, my first time trying to capture something like this. But that peak goes way up high on it as well. So it's kind of my best angles I could get on it like this. I'll check out the front too. Alright, and here I am again. Trying to get the best angles I can to try and get this all in one. That peak on this is just. Way up there, that is awesome. The tippy top of that, and that's been added on. It was on the original, more of a filmation kind of look to it. And uh, the Super 7 Snake Mountain had that peak to it. So I'll kind of just come down, look at it like this. This may all go up close. You see a couple of the pegs. I'm not going to put any guys up there, but a couple foot pegs. Yeah, there's one on the stairs here. Got a couple on your bridge going around. There's one there. Another one here. And you get a couple going down here. None up here for the oh, for where the chains are, but yeah, just full look this side of it. Pretty awesome. I think I'll do a size comparison with my other castles too, real quick. And just show you how it kind of stacks up to the other ones I have. Alright, here's a look with the other castles I guess talk about. I got my Grace Call over here. It's actually the bat cave from the DC Primal, Fun Code DC Primal. Um, yeah, they're both big castles, pretty close to the same height. And then you got Snake Mountain, just that peak is what takes it up a little higher on it. I'm going to get up here and show you, but you know, they're all the clamshell fold in half castles, so basically the same size there, just a little taller on the Snake Mountain. I thought I'd give you guys a look, show you what they all look like together. So I'm going to wrap it up with this. That's pretty much everything. I think I went over everything. The uh, video was a lot of work to do. 
sweating my butt off between the lights and just back and forth, up and down. So I hope everybody liked this a lot. Um, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe. I got a mail call that just came in. I'll be doing a bunch of stuff probably the rest of this week. Keep myself busy and a bunch of new stuff to show off to you guys. So thank you again. And, um, yeah, check back soon and enjoy the rest of your day.